Capricorn. Welcome back to my channel. So let's jump into your messages and see what the universe wants you to know. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and click that notification bell. So when I upload readings, you guys will be notified. Okay. So we have the Eight of Wands here. The Ten of Pentacles reversed just flew out of the deck. The Nine of Cups. The Fool. Who is this that wants to start over with you after causing you some hurt and some sadness? Um, give me one minute. Let me just fix my camera. I'll be quickly. I'm sorry, guys. Okay, sorry about that. Um, we have the Ten of Pentacles reversed with the Fool, the Eight of Wands. Who is this that feels like they can't? This person maybe uh thinking like i don't have everything you want me to have or i'm not who you want me to be but i do want to make you happy i want to start over but the three of swords is showing up here so i feel like this person calls you some disappointment in some sort of way and they're thinking about this and they may be feeling like okay well there's no way that capricorn is going to let me stay in their life or there's no way that we can possibly start over still hanging on to you though with the four of pentacles and the nine of cups is in the upright all right so this could be an aries for some of you with the full card coming out here or this may be someone who's going to tell you that they're ready to take this risk and follow their heart even though they may be afraid to because when I see the Ten of Pentacles in reverse and the Four of Pentacles, there's something about security and stability here where this person may feel like they can't give you that or not to your satisfaction. We have the Ten of Swords. I feel like this person, um, they betrayed you a lot. And so they know that they deserve this treatment that you're giving them, whether this is you turning your back on them or telling them that it's over. I just heard I don't know how to be who you want me to be, but I still love you and I'm never leaving. So somebody is feeling that way about you, Capricorn. Messages do you have for Capricorns. We have the moon here, Pisces energy, or someone's hiding their feelings. The magician, Gemini, Virgo energy. Okay. Somebody's gonna tell you that they're ready to manifest with you. But Capricorn, they truly may not have their shit together. But they don't want you to leave them because of it or they don't want you to judge them because of it. We have three major arcanas in a row. We have Taurus energy, Gemini, Virgo, Pisces. So some of you are dealing with those signs or this person is hiding what they're feeling and thinking right now, but they're wanting to manifest this back together i mean they want to manifest the two of you coming back together let's see where this is going this could be somebody that's married too because i'm seeing this hierophant here and the five of wands comes out i wonder if this is someone who's either married or just in another relationship and this person is like okay whoever i'm with now they accept who i am when it comes to this Ten of Pentacles reverse, when it comes to this Four of Pentacles, and I thought this person is like, will Capricorn accept me as I am? Will you accept me as I am, Capricorn? This person don't think you will. So they could be hanging on to someone else who does accept them, but watching you, like stalking you sort of with the Page of Swords. This could be a younger air sign. Leave for Gemini or an Aquarius. Uh -huh. This person makes themselves seem like the Emperor, but they're really not. They don't really have what you think they have. I feel like there's a lot being hidden behind the scenes here. There's a lot that you don't know that's going on 
in this person's life behind the scenes, especially with the Ten of Pentacles reversal. They could have a family situation or this could just be their money situation. And they're like, I don't want Capricorn to know that this is what's going on here. Because if I were to come towards them and tell them, okay, we can have whatever you want to have. If you want a family, if you want me to leave this person and come towards you. But are you going to accept me with this Ten of Pentacles reverse and this Four of Pentacles? Are you going to accept that I still have a lot of growing to do, evolving, working on myself? Yeah. Okay. Knight of Pentacles reverse and the Six of Wands reverse. Both of these cards came out in reverse. So this is someone like if they were to come towards you, Capricorn, I feel like you're like you want this person, but you really the universe is saying make sure you truly want this person. Like, are you ready to to put up with everything that comes along with them is what I'm hearing. This could be um, another earth sign, a Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn such as yourself. But I feel like this person is keeping you waiting, not because they don't love you, because the Knight of Cups is here. It's more to it. We also have the King of Wands, the Hangman, the Hermit. Some of you are dealing with this King of Wands, and this person's keeping you waiting, and they keep thinking about this situation. They're like, should I... Be totally honest with Capricorn and just tell them how I'm feeling and, you know, what I'm thinking and what's going on so that you guys can stop having conflict here because I did see the five of wands. So I feel like you don't understand the source of this conflict, but they do. And all they need to do is clear it up and you would be like, oh, OK, I get it. I get why you keep running back and forth. I get why you keep withdrawing your energy from me and not coming towards me the way you need to or the way you should. Mm -hmm. Two of Pentacles. Somebody is trying to figure out whether they want to open up and talk to you about some things. I do see the Six of Cups here. So for those of you who are going through something with your person and you're feeling like it's over, it's not. We have the Ten of Cups, the World, and the Tower along with the Six of Cups. So I either see you guys coming back together if this person walked away or if you walked away. And if they did not walk away, but you guys are just not on good terms right now, I see you working things out. But I see this person opening up to you a little at a time. So you may actually find out like why things are stagnant. We have the sun reverse and the high priestess. Some of you are not happy with the Leo. Or you're just not happy with this relationship that you're in, regardless of who it is. It could be a Leo, but if not, it's just like you're like, I'm not happy. I'm ready to walk away. I feel like you keep telling this person this. And they know that at some point you're going to do it or you already did it. Yeah, some of you are definitely dealing with the Leo. And you're like, I don't know. I don't know what to do about the situation. I don't know if I should stay or if I should leave. You're torn right now with the two of swords. You're like, I don't have the strength to deal with this anymore. And you're like, I need to start trusting my intuition. Whatever my heart is telling me to do, I need to do it. But I feel like this person is trying to either stop you from doing it or... You know, they're going to try to talk to you about it. Yeah, the Seven of Swords. I see someone who is being sneaky about their situation. They're ready to open up or they're, they're at least thinking about it, Capricorn. They're like, okay, I need to open up and I need to really tell Capricorn what's going on so that they can understand that it's not what they think. I'm hearing it's not what you think. Yeah, this card just flipped over the Eight of Pentacles. This person either needs a better job or they feel like they do. They feel like they, they're like, okay, how can I offer you what you want? 
when you know I'm doing bad myself or I'm trying to figure things out for myself. With this three of pentacles, this may be someone that you work with or someone you used to work with. And if not, I feel like with the five of cups, this person is disappointed in themselves. They know that you deserve better. They know that they should be, you know, coming towards you, giving more energy, more love and attention. This may also be someone who works a lot. And when they work, they think about you. They think about the situation. It's always on their mind. Even when you think this person is not thinking about you, Capricorn, they are. Okay, so we have the Six of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands. Whoever this is, they're stressed out about something at home, wherever they live. It could just be bills or it could be a person that they're dealing with. This person has worn the heel off of their shoe. And they're carrying these heavy wands. And they want this equal give and take. But I feel like right now they're giving to you and they're trying to give to this other person and someone is getting breadcrumbed here. Someone is not getting everything that they deserve. And this person knows it. They feel bad about it. Their conscience could be bothering them about the situation. What messages do you have for Capricorns? Yeah. Okay. Even though... Things may not seem very stable right now. The star card is here, okay? So I see you in this person sort of healing the situation that you're going through. This could be with an Aquarius. The death card came right back out in the reverse. Yeah, you're like, if this person keeps resisting this change, it could be a Scorpio. You're like, if they're resisting this change, I feel like you don't want to be bothered with them. Or you're pulling away your energy little by little. Slowly but surely. I feel like um, they're realizing it, though. Capricorn. Messages do you have for Capricorn? What do they need to know? Mm, okay. So you're not quite ready. You keep changing your mind about walking away from this person. Or either you move away from them. You um, withdraw your energy. And then when they reach out to you, I feel like you... You do talk to them. But you're tired of it being that. You're like, it's just that. It's no changes here with the death card reverse. I feel like whenever you think things are good with this person, you offer them this cup and they refuse it or they don't reach out for it. This is someone who's not always um, emotional, emotionally available. They shut down on you and you don't get it. You're like, okay, what the heck is wrong with you? Like, why do you keep shutting down on me? You keep promising me that you're not, but you keep doing it. And I find this person is going to explain to you why it's happening or they want to, they ha they heavily want to explain to you why it's happening here. They're trying to decide, should they? They're like, should I tell Capricorn what's going on with me? We have the King of Swords. Oh, that card just flipped. All right, we have the Lovers. So this could be a Gemini for some of you, or this person is just like, I can't lose Capricorn. I really do love them, but I don't know if they're going to understand my situation. Maybe it's something that's embarrassing. But they're already invested, very much so invested in you. But the Wheel of Fortune is reversed. I feel like this person keeps having a lot of bad luck. They can't seem to get on their feet. But they make you think everything is good because you don't know what's going on behind the scenes, Capricorn. All right, let's get one more. Expect communication from this person. They just can't stop dealing. I mean, dealing. They can't um, stop thinking about this. They're holding back. But they're coming. The Page of Cups is here. The Knight of Wands. So I feel like this is someone who's going to come towards you with some passionate energy, but you may shut this person down. This could be your energy right here. The Seven of Wands. But they're hoping that you hear them out. Or accept this 
this love that they're going to offer you. I don't know. There's something about the situation. The judgment card is reversed here. And right after the judgment card is the queen of pentacles and the devil reversed. So you have something to say to this person and I feel like it is not going to be nice. Look at the knight of swords, the devil, the queen of pentacles and the judgment. It's like if you want to know, because this person may want to know why you're being stubborn, why you're holding back from me. You're like, oh, you want to know? Like, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you why. And I feel like you're just going to spill everything. Everything that you've been suppressing. Everything that's on your heart. But then right after that, the Ace of Cups is here. So you're either going to start new with someone else, someone totally new. Or you're going to start things over with this person. We have the King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But you don't know. You're like, I don't know if this is the best thing for me. I still have to see. This person is so focused on you leaving them. Oh, my goodness. Nine of Swords, Ten of Nine of Swords, Eight of Swords. I'm sorry, I said Ten of Swords. Nine of Swords, Eight of Swords, Eight of Cups. This person's like, don't leave. I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to tell you what's going on with me. So those are the messages that I have for your reading, Capricorn. Thank you for watching my channel, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.